What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel that I've got some more NBA news to be talking about with you guys. It is now currently being reported that there is a widespread expectation that the Warriors will actually use the number 7 pick M. Wiseman in particular to seek more immediate upgrades to their roster. One name to watch is actually Pascal Siakam per John Hollinger of The Athletic. We also heard a little bit ago that the Warriors were the favourites to actually get Pascal Siakam and that if he was going to be getting traded, he'd actually be getting traded to the Golden State Warriors. Now, first of all, you know, before I get into the James Wiseman at pick seven type of things, I think the Warriors actually come out of this trade as huge losers, in my opinion. I don't understand. I think the Warriors, you know, fans, a lot of them don't understand as well. Pascal Siakam doesn't really make this roster better. And the reason why I'm going to say this is, don't get me wrong, he's a very good player. But where Pascal Siakam would probably play on this team is probably power forward or small ball center. Now, the thing with Pascal Siakam is, is that he kind of got, you know, really proven to be not a great defender this season. I mean, when, when the, of course, Raptors lost a lot of their rim protectors like Marcus Sorrell and Sergi Baka, they really needed, you know, Pascal Siakam to pick his defense up and show that you know, the theory that he is a good defender and, you know, again, help out in, you know, the square or the box rather and just do so many different things that he's probably not used to potentially doing. And of course, he didn't step up. He was one of the worst defenders all year. I mean, he just did not have a good season. Like, his scoring wasn't right, but his defense has usually been better in past seasons because he's been able to kind of fall on players like Sergi Barker and Marcus Gasol to save him. But when he had Aaron Bain starting at the center position, who has no rim protection whatsoever, you can see that Pascal Siakam really struggled. Now, here's the thing. If he gets traded to the Golden State Warriors, let's just say he does play power forward and they move Draymond Green to small ball center. It won't work because even though Draymond Green is one of the best defenders in the NBA and one of the most underrated defenders, you can't expect six foot five Draymond Green to be guarding seven foot players like Kyle Anthony Towns, Jarrett Allen, Rudy Gobert, etc. It's just not going to work. Like, the height differential there is way too insane where Draymond Green will not be able to guard that consistently, which means the rim protection will be trash and Pascal Siakam wouldn't be able to come and cover. Now, I've heard the rumor as well, they would actually run Pascal Siakam as small ball center. Again, not going to work. He has no rim protection whatsoever. This guy would get absolutely dominated by, like, Jarrett Allen, Carl Anthony Towns, Joel Embiid, Bam Adebayo, etc. He's not guarding any of those players. It would be just absolutely impossible to maybe see something like that happen. So, again, when we do look at it like this, there's no way the Golden State Warriors should make this trade. Not just that, they'd give up James Wiseman, who I think will have a much better season next year. Again, for those of you, you know, who I haven't seen, he had a pretty bad rookie season, but the rookie season I like to compare him to is actually Darius Garland. There were people saying that Darius Garland was the worst player in the NBA in his first season and was literally the biggest bust out of the draft class, right? Those same people were saying Tyler Hero was going to be the best player out of the draft class. And now from what we've seen, Tyler Hero's had a really bad second season. Garland went from being the worst player, apparently, in the NBA to passing now Tyler Hero. And this was all because he actually missed pretty much his whole entire college season. So he pretty much came straight from high school to the NBA. And that's a similar thing to what James Wiseman did. James Wiseman, trust me, will get so much better, in my opinion, this offseason. Now that he knows how the NBA feels, how it is to travel, he has like six months, I believe, to get a lot stronger, improve his jump shot, and of course, get better at protecting the rim. And that will happen. Again, in a couple of years, I could see James Wiseman being way better than Pascal Siakam is. Not just that, you can't expect to trade up James Wiseman and then the seventh overall pick right, which again, could be a really nice player like Davion Mitchell, you can't trade that up for a dude like Pascal Siakam, that is a terrible trade, but if you're a Raptors fan, you do this trade every single day of the week, this is the best trade you could get out of Pascal Siakam, really the best trade you'd be able to get out of anyone for a very long time, you'd be straight up ripping the Warriors off, now you would have pick four and pick seven, how insane would that be, plus James Wiseman, Pretty much, let's just say, 
They took Jalen Suggs at point guard, right? At pick number four, they took Jalen Suggs. Look, I'm not high on Jalen Suggs, but I know a lot of people are, so we'll do it for this, you know, case of this video. And then with the seventh overall pick, who even knows who they take? They probably wouldn't be taking Davion Mitchell because they just took a guard. Let's just say, maybe maybe they reach on a dude like Jalen Johnson because Kaminga and that will be out. Could you imagine that team? Real quick, you'd be looking at point guard of, you know, Jalen Suggs, shooting guard of, I'd probably say Fred Van Vliet, small forward Gary Trent Jr., power forward OG Ananobi, with James Wiseman at your center position. The oldest player in that starting five, I believe, I, I think it's, yeah, OG's only 23 still. The oldest player in that starting five is Fred Van Vliet, who is 27 years old. And he's a young 27, if you know what I mean. Then off the bench, you could bring off, like, Jalen Johnson, who'd come off the bench. Chris Boucher would be there. Um, Malachi Flynn would come back, I would assume. Ken Birch, who they've kind of got being an alright player now, he could come back. Rodney Hood, if they decide to bring him back on a cheap deal. DeAndre Bembry as well. They could actually be looking at a really, really young team. Now, in my opinion, that team will probably not be very good at all. In fact, I, I definitely think they wouldn't be a top three worst team in the East, but I think they'd be like 12th or 11th in the standings. So I expect so many Eastern teams to get better next season. But the future would be absolutely there. Like, I just don't think, you know, a trio of Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent, and OG Ananobi, I don't necessarily know if they could take you to the playoffs, but I think they'd be in a right, like, 10th seed or something like that. 10th or 11th seed, I will probably go with. Because, again, Jalen Suggs, I think he'll really struggle in his first season in the league because he, he just doesn't look like the guy to come in and be a really good player straight away. I could be completely wrong. He could absolutely, but... I just don't think so. I think James Wiseman, it will still take some time for him to warm up. You know, Garland, it still did as well for him. Um, and then, of course, you know, you'd still have young players like Jalen Johnson, etc. coming off the bench. Um, it, it would be a very interesting team, but hey, they could try and push for playoffs. If they don't make it, they'll probably finish like 11th, you know, or 10th maybe, even 12th. If that's the lowest, they'd probably go. Because again, you can't expect a team that will lose Pascal Siakam, Kyle Lowry, both the free agency and trade, like, both their best players. You can't, I don't think, expect this team to be an elite team, but I definitely think it'd be a really nice team to see, you know, in the future, especially if they keep, you know, hitting the draft and then maybe bringing in a max player eventually in free agency, um, you know, that they could definitely go after. Uh, it's all going to be extremely interesting to see how this, of course, you know, will all unfold. But again, if you're a Golden State Warriors fan, you do not do this trade. In my opinion, I still think the Warriors are going to take a player at 7 before they trade the pick. I think that player will probably be Davion Mitchell because he can't really go wrong with him. Um, and then I think they'll probably still look to take a player at the 14th overall pick. But they'll have a lot of picks, you know, again, in this draft. Those two picks are worth so much. And you could trade down and bring in more picks if you wanted to, which they probably won't because they're a contending team looking for, you know, top-level talent, not potential talent so uh, that's how i see the golden state warriors maybe going that going around this kind of area but i think it's going to be really interesting to see how this of course all does unfold um again the raptors if they can make this trade happen they will be probably one of the most set teams in the future like again you'd probably have one more year at the draft and then you'd probably bring in another free agent or someone like that and then you'd be absolutely set. Like, I do think that a, a trio of Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi, and Gary Trent could be something really good in the future. But also, just putting players around them, like young talent, like James Wiseman and Jalen Suggs, they're only going to get better as well. But if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, and my IRL slash long channel. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well, if you haven't already, which I will all link in the description down below. As well as, uh, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Do you guys agree with this trade? Do you guys think either of them should do it? Uh, who do you guys think wins? Who do you guys think loses? Again, I definitely would really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Um, but again, as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.